We are uh, member-supported KX93.5 in Laguna Beach. Uh, it's a big day for us, frankly. Uh, Kelly from the band Block Party is in studio right now. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing so very well. Thank you so much for joining us. Real quick, let me give you a background on, on what we're doing right now. Okay. Uh, we launched this radio station about two months ago. Yeah. It is a, a nonprofit, like, member-supported thing. So sure. if people want to keep the music going... Uh, type of thing it's up to the community oh wow we're small it's like a, it's a low power fm which is usually reserved for like community services or like college radio but it's been so well received around the community again it's only been two months we're doing like a extended indie like alternative playlist and sure. we're trying to get people to take notice very cool right everything mm. from the studio space i mean yeah. the ocean is right there yeah yeah and it's a really cool beach town so that's exactly what we're doing. And when we kind of dreamed up the concept for this radio station, like our gold records mm. would be the Ramones and the Talking Heads and the Boingo and the Devo type of stuff. Mm. And then the newer stuff, we're talking the Interpols and block parties yeah. of the world. So you're right up our alley. The new record is, is called Four, and it's yeah. available right now, right? And you guys just played last night at the Palladium. How yeah. was that? It was good. It was, uh, it was good. We, we always have fun when we come to L.A., uh, so yeah, it was, it was really good. We're, we're all a bit, um, we're all a bit jet lagged because um, we just flew in like two two days ago. But the show was good, and I'm looking. I'm, and everyone said yesterday how awesome it's going to be at the observatory today. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we're looking forward to that. That's very cool. You guys just wrapped up Europe, right? Uh, yeah, we did uh, what three weeks in Europe. Yeah. Weeks in Europe, yeah, yeah, all the blogs, there's some videos and cool stuff on, mm. on your website. So the new record is, is really great, and uh, I'm just a lowly DJ here in Southern California, but yeah. I say that that new stuff, uh, it, I'll, I'll put it up right up against all those block party hits of the past, mm. and all those other block party songs of the past, those are going to live on radio forever. Mm. You know what I mean? So I hope you're very proud of the new record, because we certainly dig on it. Yeah, I'm super proud of it. I uh, Yeah, I'm just pleased that it, we were able to capture the sound that was in our heads um uh, you know th that we were able to capture it the way that we wanted to uh you know and and, and now it's done it's you know and now it's done it's not really ours anymore it's it's, it's out there and it's and it's for, for other people to discover but you mm -hmm. know that's always the the fear when you're making a record is that you want it to sound as good you know coming back through the desk as it does in your head and i think we definitely achieved what we wanted with before. right on uh well this record in particular how much of the writing was done before uh did when you were recording was it on the fly were you like creating arrangements sure. and doing guitar parts and writing lyrics uh right there in the studio um yeah this is actually probably the first right well the second record i guess the, that we've done where we um had no real material um we had no real real material prior to us actually going into re a rehearsal room for like a month and just jamming. So so pretty much all those songs that you hear were born of um, uh, spontaneous um, kind of writing sessions. And then and then we spent like another month with a producer doing pre-production, which basically meant us playing the same songs again and again and again um, until we really hammered the arrangements. So by the time we by the time we went in to record, everything was pretty much written. How how painstaking and tedious is it to record these days for you guys? Are you guys perfectionists in the studio type of thing? It's, uh, it's, it's frustrating. I, I'm not a musician. I don't pretend to be. Yeah. Uh, but I imagine it is. I mean, I uh, to get the sound that you want. I mean, I, I get very I get very bored quite, quite easily. So. I'm like after like three takes, whatever it's done, I don't care. <laughs> but um, some right, of the, right. some of the other guys are very are a lot more meticulous about it. But but for me, it's all you know. Recording's always been about capturing a vibe mm -hmm. more so than anything. You can, um, you know, you might not, you know, you might not play it perfectly or you might not sing it perfectly. But if it has that energy, I think that's what people that's what resonates with people more than right. everything yeah. being perfectly in time. So I'm much more about. Um, you know, I'm much more about capturing a vibe than I am about anything else. Right on. Uh, we are member-supported, KX93.5, right here in Laguna Beach. I guess if you want to be a member of the radio station, naturally, details on our website. That's kx935.com. 
Uh, Kelly from Block Party in the studio. You're playing, I think, Santa Ana tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, let me ask you this. I know that <laughs> I, this is my favorite question to ask all the artists who come mm -hmm. in, and uh, Tyler knows exactly what I'm going to ask uh -huh. right now. Uh, rather than asking you who your influences are, yeah. uh, what's one record that you could never part with? I usually tell people uh, when I was strapped for cash, yeah. I went through all my CDs and stuff and like had to sell them to Music Trader yeah. for you know pennies on the dollar, but one record I'll never part with was uh, Television's Marquee Moon. Yeah. And and uh, what would be something for you? Uh, you know, there are so many. There are so many records that, that I love. I guess probably uh, Homogenic by Bjork would be a record that I wouldn't really want to part with under any circumstances. It mm -hmm. was um, well, they're one of the first kind of electronic records that I ever fell in love with. So that's probably one of my records, favorite records. That's cool. Well, listen, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to rip into a song, something off the new record. Sure. And then we'll kind of wrap it up after that. Okay. Right on. Well, let's play it right now, uh, and then we'll wrap it up again. Uh, Kelly from Block Party in studio. So nice of you. Again, we haven't even been broadcasting two months, and already, mm. like, Block Party is walking into our little independent radio station. Uh -huh. it's, it's amazing. All right, this is something new off the record. Four, it's available right now. The song's called Coliseum. You heard it first right here on KX93.5.